When the Boston Red Sox visit the White House later today, it will be without their manager. Alex Cora decided to skip the celebration because of the administration's response to the Puerto Rico disaster relief. And when asked about it, the president repeated his wild and false claim about the aid that has been given to the island. Just so you understand, we gave Puerto Rico $91 billion for the hurricane. That's the largest amount of money ever given to any state. Talking about states in Puerto Rico, a little different. $91 billion. Texas got 30. Florida got 12. Puerto Rico got $91 billion. So I think the poor people of Puerto Rico should really like President Trump. Congressional correspondent Phil Mattingly here with me now. Um, they didn't get $91 billion. That's the, that's the fact check on this. Yeah, let's, let's just start from the top line. That's not true. What the president said today, what he said last night in the panhandle in Florida, where this is obviously a big issue, what he said repeatedly, including in closed-door lunches and closed-door meetings with Senate Republicans, the $91 billion number is not true, period, end of story. Here's what is true. In the wake of the hurricanes, and obviously the island was ravaged by hurricanes, they have been allocated somewhere around 40 to $41 billion by Congress. Of that allocated money, which obviously is $50 billion less than what the president is saying it was, a little over 10 to $15 billion has actually been paid out to the island. The island has, let's make perfectly clear, has had serious fiscal issues before the hurricane. And I think that's one of the driving forces about the disagreement over this, and that's part of the frustration that White House officials have said the president has. He believes that they haven't been handling their finances well enough, and therefore or shouldn't be given more money. The issue is the top line number, which he often brings out a chart and shows the graph, is related to long-term projections from the Office of Management and Budget. In terms of longer than a 10-year budget window, what the total cost may be in federal assistance needed in Puerto Rico given the damage they faced. It is at the heart of the current crux, or the heart of the current fight over a disaster aid bill, and you've covered Congress. You know these usually move through pretty quickly. You have conservatives vote against them on fiscal grounds, but everybody understands these are necessary, the need, needs need to move. This has been stalled out now for weeks because the White House has made clear the president does not want any more money for Puerto Rico. He doesn't believe that they handled the money correctly. And Democrats have continued to fight for that money. Some Republicans have as well. What they're trying to do to solve this issue, Senate Republicans put out an offer late last week that would add $300 million to their initial offer, another $600 million in food stamp allocations, and put some guardrails on it. Say you couldn't use this money, the community development block grant money, unless you check the box on a few things in terms of other payouts. Democrats have rejected that, saying that wouldn't give the money fast enough to them, and the White House still has not signed off on the Senate Republican plan yet. So nobody actually knows where the president is. So it's complicated, and it's why this bill hasn't moved far. It's why Alex Cora has problems. It's why a lot of people from Puerto Rico you've heard complain about this, and it's why this issue is still very real on Capitol Hill. And we should note that an independent look at this also found that the president's Housing and Urban Development Department has not done a good job here. So there is blame in the Trump administration about how this money is being put out there. Phil Mattingly, thank you so much for that. Now, the, the president immediately uh, switching to Puerto Rico because uh, that's one of the reasons uh, the manager's not coming. In reality, we should point out, President Trump keeps on saying that they gave Puerto Rico $91 billion. Congress allocated $42 billion for Puerto Rico for, for recovery. Of that, $12 billion have been, has been spent. Um, some government estimates uh, that the budget uh, will uh, include another 50 billion over a 20 year period, but that's a very rough estimate. I in any case, uh, Kristen, the president keeps repeating this $91 billion, $91 billion, we've given Puerto Rico $91 billion. It's not true, I it's a lie. Does that matter anymore? Uh, I think it's unlikely that the president's comments on this will lead, lead to any sort of immediate political price. But it is important to note that, say, uh, take a state like Florida, um, where during the gubernatorial race down there, you had Ron DeSantis, who wound up being victorious, someone who was a strong Trump supporter, really tied himself to the president. But even on the issue of uh, Hurricane Maria recovery in Puerto Rico, that was one area where he put distance between himself and the president. So in somewhere like Florida, that could be the sort of place where if the president's response to what happened with the hurricane in Puerto Rico is viewed as deficient, that is the sort of place where perhaps regionally he would pay a political price. Paul Begala? Uh, that's right. He only carried Florida, as Christian well knows, by less than 115,000 votes. Estimates are that anywhere from 50,000 to, I've seen estimates as high as two or 300,000 uh, Puerto Ricans have moved to Florida. They, of course, are our sister and brother Americans. They have a perfect right to vote in Florida if they go and register. I hope they will. Uh, so it's not, I think, that politically uh, astute. But, so why does he do it? Why does he lie? I think he's trying to redefine truth itself. 
you, you and I, normal people, we believe that truth is fidelity to facts. He believes that truth is saying sometimes racially inflammatory things that no one else wants to say, like Puerto Ricans are undeserving, like Mexicans are rapists, these things that upset me so much. I think he's, he, he's convinced himself that he can say these really inflammatory things that somehow that makes them true, even though they're factually false. 